One of the NBA's biggest off-court victories in recent years has been the way a new generation of stars has experimented with and embraced style. LeBron James and members of the vaunted 2003 draft class, for example, went from this to this. The start of this sartorial revolution is often credited to the implementation of a highly controversial dress code 15 years ago. On October 17, 2005, then Commissioner David Stern made the NBA the first major North American sports league to adhere to a dress code, requiring players to dress in business casual attire whenever they participated in league activities. Such activities included going to and from games, conducting interviews, and making promotional or charity appearances. In addition, any non-active players sitting on the bench were required to wear a sports coat. Drum roll, please. The new rules were extremely polarizing. On one hand, Stern was overseeing a league facing very different challenges than the one booming today. The NBA hadn't fully emerged from its post-Jordan downturn yet, and was still recovering from the absolute PR nightmare that was the malice at the palace only a year earlier. Our test is in the stands! This is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. According to one Washington Post story at the time, league executives weren't exactly thrilled about a 2004 dinner featuring the U.S. Olympic team and members of the Serbian national team, which saw the Serbians arrive in matching sport coats while the Americans arrived in sweatsuits, jeans, and chains. So you can see why Stern and his board of governors yearned for something that would make the league more marketable to corporate America. Having said that, it's also fair to question whether they went about it the right way. Me on this. I was being made fun of in every nighttime talk show in America. Many pundits questioned the racial undertones of the new unprecedented rules, which appeared to target hip-hop culture in a league largely comprised of black players. Person, so I just think it's a bad idea. And no player defined that divide quite like Allen Iverson. The Hall of Famer marched to the beat of his own drum, always did and became a cultural icon for an entire generation because of it. Yet it was precisely AI's look the NBA was trying to rid itself of. Over time, the tension eased, and the league loosened its own collar on the matter. An NBA dress code still technically exists, but is loosely enforced at best. Just look at some of the rules implemented back in 2005, then compare it to the way your favorite stars of today stroll into arenas. No sleeveless shirts. No shorts. No t-shirts or jerseys. No sunglasses indoors. No headphones. No chains over a player's clothes. Styles changed, as they often do, and a new generation of stars found their own voices in turning their wardrobes into artistic palettes. I think I don't, I don't do drip or money or fashion, I do arts. Who knows where the fashion world's heading in the next 15 years? But given what's old has a tendency to become new again, who's to say Baggy won't make a comeback, if it isn't already? Did the 05 dress code really usher in the eclectic looks that dominate the modern NBA? Or are today's stars, in a league run by a younger, more progressive commissioner, just given more leeway when it comes to their individuality because modern styles are seen as more acceptable. In any event, that individualism has helped grow the league's brand and players' own brands in avenues few could have predicted a decade and a half ago. In 2020, an issue of GQ or a fashion week in Paris, Milan, or New York isn't complete without an NBA presence. I believe everyone goes my runway. And what players look like walking into the arena has become part of the fan experience in an era dominated by social media, not by old school media heads like hockey's Don Cherry. Now look at this, a first place club. Boudreaux's got them looking good. First place, smoking along. Don't they look good? So no matter which side you land on when it comes to the 2005 dress code, one thing we can all agree on is that since the NBA implemented the changes, the league has quite literally never looked the same. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.